dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world i welcome you back again to this special uh, news channel where we bring you trending news thank you for subscribing to this channel for those of you who are subscribed thank you for liking our videos thank you for watching our contents thank you for trusting us to bring you interesting news thank you for also dropping by at the comment section to leave your thoughts and uh, leave your comments we appreciate them kindly keep them coming Thank you for liking our videos and sharing with your friends, family, and relations. I'd like to quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. Do hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. All right, the news at this hour says, Breaking another huge victory for Senator Oji Uzokalu and his supporters. Mr. Oji Uzokalu, former Abia State Governor, and up until his arrest, prosecution and conviction, was a seventh senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has yet another reason to celebrate, as well as his many supporters, as a legal division of the Federal High Court has ordered his immediate release from the Nigerian Correctional Service. Ojiz Okalu's counsel, Latif Fagbemi, had filed an application for the release of his clients a move that was granted by the judge, Mohamed Liman, being that the counsel to the prosecutor, the EFCC, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, did not oppose the application. Recall that earlier in the month of December 2019, the court had sentenced Mr. Oji Uzokalu to 12 years in prison after he was arraigned by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission for fraud in the excess of 7 billion naira. Arraigned alongside Mr. Oji, Kalu was his company, Slok Nigeria Limited, as well as a former director of finance and accounts at Abia State Government House, while Oji Kalu was governor of Abia State in the person of Ude Udeogu. However, in an interesting twist of judgment, the Supreme Court on the 8th of May nullified Oji Kalu's conviction, but the former senator was still held in the custody of the Nigerian Correctional Services, formerly Nigerian Prison Service, Kujie in Abuja, which led to his counsel filing a fresh application at the federal court seeking his release. Mr. Oji Zokalu, who had been accused of stealing mismanaging and diverting funds belonging to the Abia state government during his time as a seventh governor upon the change of government from military to civilian in 1999. Up until 2007, he however pleaded not guilty to the charges laid on him, but was sentenced in December 2019 to 12 years in prison, jailed alongside Ude we now await what the prosecuting agency, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, will do next. Will they file a fresh lawsuit or just move on? Only time will tell. But be that as it were, he has been asked to be released from prison. This is an interesting one. A really, really interesting one. And further news coming out says the Federal High Court in Lagos on Tuesday ordered the release of the former governor of Abia State, Oji Uzokalu, from prison. Oji Uzokalu was jailed for 12 years on December 5, 2019, after he was convicted of 7.1 billion naira fraud alongside his firm, Slok Nigeria Limited, and a former director of finance at the Abia State Government House, Jones Ude. Udeogo. So guys, congratulations to him and his supporters as they have, you know, won this victory. Well, it is what it is. Let's quickly see what uh, guys are saying concerning this. Thanks to God, he, is, he has learned his lesson. Well, good enough for him. Godfrey Kelechi says, thank God. I hope he has learned well. Justice Aguamo says, ha, 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 he has tested what a common man is used to. Well, tested, well, will he 
be treated? Would he have been treated the way the common man was treated? I bet no. So definitely he would have foam mattresses to sleep on in the prison. But go to the conventional prison. Do you see mattresses where these guys sleep on? No. They are just packed. They sleep on the floor. Come bring, come sunshine and all what have you. They, wear, they don't wear clothes. But will he, he definitely would be wearing clothes, changing clothes, having access to good water, the bait and all what have you. But it's what it is. It's what it is, if you'd ask me. Julian Donato says, 12 years, you know, you never stay a year and court uh, they're granting you bail. You see? So it's what it is. That is what the power of money can do. Yeah. Alphonsus. Omwa Soezi says, Congratulations, Chief Ojiz Okalu, our Deputy Chief Whip. Please carry go. We love your heart of generosity. Okay. Another person says, Great. I'm happy for the gentleman. Okay. Uwakwe Favor says, Congratulations, my Senator. Your enemies can now go and rest and also bury themselves with shame. Okay. Ibekwe Sunday says, Glory to God. So, guys, what are your thoughts concerning all these issues? Uh, Oji Zokalu has now been released from prison. He has recorded another huge victory in his case. But be that as it were, guys, do you think that uh, it is a good one for him? What will the EFCC do? Now that uh, the, 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 he has pleaded not guilty, what do you think the EFCC will do? Will they hands up the case or will they end the case or will they further go ahead to prosecute him? or to actually uh, come up with other charges against him? Well, it remains to be seen, if you ask me. It remains to be seen. How things would turn out with Oji Zokalu. But one thing we need to know is that these politicians are very, very funny. You know, remember what Adam Sushumole said in one of the campaigns prior to the election in 2019. He says, when you come to APC, all your sins are forgiven. So, while we can not, not uh, you know, say uh, that categorically that that is the case of um, Oju Zokalu when he decamps to APC. You remember he traveled to London to see um, Buhari while he was decamping. The same thing happened with Apabio. You know, while we cannot say the same thing for Oju Zokalu, but be that as it were, despite the fact that he went to prison, you know, his people continue to fight for him. The APC, the senators, all were fighting for him. Even when they were asked to declare his seat vacant, they refused because they knew the plans they had for him and they knew they were going to get him out of jail, which I think they have succeeded in doing as of today. So it remains to be seen how the case would actually tilt to, where it will tilt to how things would go from here. But be that as it were, Oji Zokalu can savour this huge victory that he has made today. It is not easy, but it has come, and uh, he is now a free man as the court has pronounced him free and ordered his release from detention. It is what it is, guys. If you are not rich, if you are not dining with the rich, if you are not dining with the uh, people who are in power, then you probably might have issues. In as much as we know that Oji Zokalu, to a very large extent, might have, you know, uh, misappropriated fronts to some extent, though we are not the courts and we cannot say, we cannot judge, we cannot uh, 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 conclude. But to a very large extent, you cannot rule out the fact that the power of the APC has come to play in his case and they have actually helped him out. Don't rule out the fact that money was actually um, an instrument to this. It is how things have been done in this country. It is either you are connected to those in power, the rich, and those who are actually running things, or you are left at the mercy of God Almighty. So guys, this is what it is. Oju Zokalu is now a free man. The court has ordered him to be released from prison. He now has his life back. He will go back to the Senate and continue from where he stopped. He already said that he has learned so much, and we hope that that which he has learned he will be able to use uh, to better himself and to better the society and to better Nigeria at large. Well, it remains to be seen what will be the next step of the EFCC. Be that as it were, guys. Kindly drop by at the comment section to let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
please hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.